next guest is a comedian, a writer, and a host of The Daily Show. He's got a new stand-up special on Netflix called Son of Patricia. Take a look. There should be a rule in America. They should say, you can hate immigrants all you want, but if you do, you don't get to eat their food. Yeah? That's a fair exchange for me. And when I say no immigrant food, I mean no immigrant food, nothing. No Mexican food, no Caribbean food, no Dominican food, no Asian food, nothing. Only potatoes. <laughs> Please welcome Trevor Noah. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Yes, oh, yes, great. Yes, oh, everybody. it's it's great, great to see you again. This man. is so fun to be here. How's everybody doing? This is nice. Everyone's oh, in here. Yeah. So cozy. I'm excited about you, man. Right. Happy, thank, happy Thanksgiving. Is that a thing? Is we still doing it? Yeah. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. You too. Happy holidays now. We. You know, is that what it is? Like Christmas all included. I don't know there. when it ends and when it begins. The mi 12:01 it becomes Christmas. I see. On Friday morning. I see. Because I like people were like it's Thanksgiving and then it was the Thanksgiving weekend and then it's more Thanksgiving and no, the people were shaming like me because I don't do Thanksgiving. Well, just don't eat Thanksgiving food right now though. You're gonna get sick. It's okay. Past, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like it's once fun. the food's spoiled, it's time to move on to Christmas. I think. Is that? Absolutely. I feel okay, like that's America. The, the holidays are defined by the food. Once the food is gone, we move on. Yeah, we're just yeah. going to be... <laughs> but it seems, according to you, we're just going to be eating potatoes. Potatoes! <laughs> hey, man, we got to say congratulations on, on Son of Patricia. Thank you uh, so uh, much. Uh, Thank you very much. Funny, Thank you. clever, as always. And you, there's this Obama story, right. which... <laughs> I, I, you were embarrassed. I mean, it was pretty embarrassing. It was really embarrassing, but you know what? I, I, I got to meet uh, President Obama in the White House, and it was one of the most amazing experiences. Mm -hmm. But, like, we get there. And you know what happens is when you meet people who are beyond famous, like, there are some people where you just, you lose what your brain is supposed to be doing. So the mouth, the brain, nothing connects, nothing works. So, like, when he walked in, I was, I was like, in my head, I was like, oh, yeah, bro, you know, President Obama's gonna walk in, and I'll say this to him, I'll make a joke about Africa, Africa, me, Africa, him, Africa thing, <laughs> you know? And then he walked Walked in and he was like, oh, Trevor, and I was just like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> I did, and I honestly didn't know what to say. We, 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 and we had a good time. We had this interview, and I tell the story in the special about how the worst part was it was just a moment where my brain froze because he asked me about this event, and he was like, uh, Trevor, you know, I'm doing a little thing uh, for my AIDS, and I'd hope uh, that you'd be there. And I was like, a you, you have AIDS? And he was, I was like, what? <laughs> And, my, and he was like, what? And I was like, no, what, you? And then he, and then, and then he explained, and I mean, it's obvious now, don't get me wrong, it's obvious now. <laughs> but it, like, it threw me off completely. Like, we don't say that where I'm from. We don't have, like, no one's going like, ah, let me introduce you to my AIDS. That's not a thing <laughs> in Africa. <laughs> and I get it now, I totally get it. But it was like one of the craziest <laughs> moments to have with the president. But he was nice about it. He didn't laugh at me, he didn't insult me. He just, he was just like, uh, all right, now, no, what, what it means is the people who helped me. And I was like, no, no, I knew that. I knew that, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I knew that. The other thing, and so you know what's really fun about the special is I, I share some of the anecdotes of life, people I've met, <laughs> stories, places I've traveled to, uh, and just my ideas on the world and what's happening. Well, there is. A, I also heard that the first time you ever had a taco was here in America. Yeah, that was true. Which You've people never... people get shocked by, it, but you you take for granted the fact that like many things don't exist in other parts of the world. Oh. So like growing up in South Africa, there was no Mexican food. We don't have Mexicans. They never came over. It's not my fault, right? <laughs> <laughs> and people would be offended. People would be offended when I would say this. But I was like, it's just the certain things. We... So when I came to the U.S., I was really lucky. I was staying with my best friend, a guy named David Meyer. And I was living with him in, in Pasadena. And I, I, one day he was like, he's like, hey, Trevor, you wanna get, you wanna get tacos? And I was like, dude, I, I don't know, I don't know what that is. And he's like, you never had tacos? And his mind was blown. And I was like, but, but why would I have tacos? Dude, I was like, have you ever had a goat's head? And he's like, why would I eat a goat's head? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but that's my point. Why would I eat tacos? Well, we, we got it. Slightly different from the goat's head, yeah, but, but I understand. No, but it's not. It's exactly the same. Where I'm from, I have eaten many goat's heads. We call <laughs> them smileys. And the reason we call them that is because when you eat the, the, the head, it looks like it's any other part of the, the animal. They're but smiling? then when you eat it, by the time you're done, it looks like it's smiling at you on the plate. Oh, yeah. You say taco, then our, our intern oh, shows wow. up with tacos. Oh, wow. You're efficient, man. Yeah. Wow. Give me that intern, Saquon. Yo, you've been amazing, Saquon. Thank you very much. Thank what you, what kind of tacos you. are these? He doesn't know, he yeah. just oh, grabbed some tacos. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like that's a recipe for disaster, but yeah, okay. <laughs> All, All right. right, thank you, Saquon. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you. He definitely got the job.
He is, he is by far the best intern we've best ever had, like I said before. we've ever had, but the best one for but, sure. But I do have a question, though, when it comes to food. What, you have a favorite American chain restaurant now? Do I have an American chain restaurant? Have you been to Taco like, Bell? Yeah. I have been to Taco Bell. Taco Bell's interesting because you can buy, like, a ton of food for no money. It's a very $2 strange $2 thing. You no, you know why? You know why? Because in South Africa, generally, like, uh, takeout food is, is relatively expensive. It's like a treat. Mm -hmm. So where I'm from, it's easier to buy food to cook at home and vegetables and everything. And then in America, it's flipped. So it's cheaper for people to go to takeout. So I remember the first time I went to Taco Bell with some friends. I was actually uh, on a comedy tour with Gabriel Iglesias. Yep. And we went to Taco Bell. And then he, he was like, what are we going to spend? I was like, he's like, we'll spend like $100. And I was like, oh, that's like, for what, four that's meals? That's a banquet. Yeah. And they came out. It, we looked like, like that scene in Pretty Woman where you come out with like all the plastic <laughs> bags. <laughs> and it's like everyone had. I was like, how much food is that? And then he was like, oh, here's like $50 in change. And I was like, what is? And I've never seen so much food for so little money in my life. So yeah, but I don't have, I don't have like a favorite chain, to be honest with you. I, I try and eat healthy on the road. I try and escape all of that because I, I ate too much uh, takeout food when I first got to America. And then the thing about Americans is you, you guys are very polite. You don't tell someone when they've yeah. gotten really round. You're getting, yeah. And, <laughs> but Africans don't play that game. So I got home and immediately when I got home, my mom was like, you, you are fat. <laughs> <laughs> You've adjusted too well. <laughs> yeah. And so yeah, so I, I try and eat healthy on the road. That's what I try and do. Well, you know what? It's working out for you, man. You, you, you're looking good though. I'm trying. You've been hosting for three years already. It's been three years already. Time flies. Time flies and at the same time, it feels like nothing has changed. <laughs> it's that like happens. it's like a weird yeah it's like a weird time bubble that we've been in with the news mm -hmm. where um, it feels like we we've been con constantly like rocked in a time news bubble so you know like I remember when I first started the Daily Show people were like oh you know the news comes and goes in waves yeah. and it might, and it's like no this wave's not ending it's not <laughs> ending at all yeah you're riding a high wave right, right now but but when you host your own show you get to hang out and you get to meet a lot of cool celebrities. So is there one celebrity that you're hanging out with now that kind of surprised you, never imagined you would? It's really cool Ooh, to pull him up on I'm your phone. I'm trying to think. I feel that with I Michael. Would, I would have to say the one person for me, you know what, like Michael was one of those people where you were just like, you like invited me to things, but like on my phone, it was very, it was very, so you can imagine, Michael Strahan comes on the show, and I'm like, it's Michael Strahan. I'm like, this, this is crazy. I'm like, okay, the legend. I, I, I see the person, the football, okay, this is great. And it's like, cool. And you're like, oh yeah, we should hang out sometime. And I'm like, yeah, that's what everyone says. Okay, everyone says, let's hang out sometime. No one ever means, let's hang out sometime. If someone says, let's hang out sometime, that means, nice meeting you. I don't ever want to see you again. That's what <laughs> let's hang out sometime means. That's what it means. Universally, we understand that, right? And Michael's like, we should hang out sometime. I was like, yeah, we should hang out sometime. And then a few days later, he texts me and he's like, yo, what are you doing tonight? And I was like, who is this? And he was like, it's Michael Strahan. And I was like, yeah, and I am Nelson Mandela. Who is this? <laughs> he's like, it's, it's Michael Strahan. What are you doing? Are you, are you hanging out? We should go grab a drink. We should hang. And I was like, it's my, I was like, hi, Michael. How are you, Michael? And I was like, and, no, genuine. He's like one of the nicest human beings I've ever come back. across. <laughs> So yeah, so no, we, didn't, we didn't mix it up like no, he did no, no. with Obama. So, we you kept... know, like you, you've been amazing. Uh, Will Smith has been someone who's yeah. become a friend and a mentor in life. Oh. You know, someone who I, I mean, it's, it's Will guy. Smith. I grew up watching him and loving him, and then now I go like Will Smith. You know, sometimes I look at my phone, I'll be like Will Smith, I'll be like, sure. I don't have anything to call him for, but I'm just like, <laughs> I should just call him and be like, hello, just checking. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> just want to make sure it's still yeah, just, it's, yeah, yeah, it's you. All right, cool, bye. That's no, all it is. You do everything. We've rattled off a lot of those things. I had no idea you also dance. So before The Daily Show. I don't think that's true. I think it might be. I you were in a think, show no. called Strictly Come Dancing. Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 Dang! <laughs> that is, that's, I don't even know how you doctored that footage. I, uh... <laughs> That looks like me in like a Dancing with the Stars show, and I don't know how that's possible. We are good like that. Well, we well, should. We, where did you? Fi how did you find this? <laughs> but we 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 do have to say we did find it. Yes. But it's not like we just showed those clips and okay, Trevor, you were finalist. I was. You I were did, finalist. I did really you can well. dance. Yeah. You're good. I did really well.
I mean, you know what? You know what the thing is. Like ballroom dancing is one of those things where initially you're hesitant, and then you get into it, and then the competitive spirit takes over. Yep. Yeah. And so you, you probably know good. what I'm talking about. No, what happens is at first I was like, wow, I've got to wear like a mini heel, and I've got to wear spandex and everything. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do this one week, and then I'm gonna leave. And then they're like, so you're gonna lose? It's like, what? What do you mean? I'm not gonna lose. I'm not gonna lose. I was like, I don't want to lose. And I was like, I'm going to win. They're like, then you wear more spandex. I was like, yeah, but I'll be a winner in spandex. <laughs> <laughs> and so I danced every single week. It, 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 before we go, I, I do have to say, you wrote a best-selling book, Born a Crime. Yes, amazing, thank you very much. It's amazing, been amazing. Book. Thank yeah, you. if you haven't had a chance to read it, make sure you go pick it up. And Lupita Nyongo, Lupita Nyongo, Oscar winner, is going to play your mom. Can you imagine in the movie? No. Yeah, that's got to be so incredible. Lupita, I will never forget this story. I will, I will die with. Lupita was on the sets of Black Panther. She was reading my book, which I didn't even know she had. And then she calls me and she goes, "Hey, Trevor, it's Lupita." And I was like, "Hey, Lupita, how you doing?" And she goes, "I want to be your mom." I said, "I'm sorry, what?" <laughs> and she said, oh, sorry, I just read your book. I love your mom. I want to be your mom in the movie. And I was like, but there is no movie. She's like, there is now. Oh, wow. And she's like, we should make this thing happen. And I was, I was like, yeah, we, sh we should make this thing happen. And then, and then we just made it happen. Lupita came on as a producer, and she's like, you know, we're going to play your mom, and let's make this thing into a story. And wow. so we're sitting down, we're creating this amazing story about myself and my mom growing up in South Africa. And Lupita's a fantastic African woman. My mom is a fantastic African woman. I could not think of a better, like, person to play her. And I saw her in Black Panther, and she was whipping ass. And mm -hmm. I was like, that's how my mom used to whip my ass. <laughs> So I was like, yeah, this is gonna work. I was like, this is gonna work. <laughs> hey, man, hey, hey, great to have Thank you, Thank you so much. Always so good. Much. And you can Thank stream you Son you. of Patricia's on Netflix right now. And of course, make sure you catch The Daily Show at 11 p.m. on Comedy Central. Trevor Noah, everybody. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.